blessings beautiful people i hope all is well um this beautiful uh morning um so the lord woke me up this morning um and this this uh he had a scripture on my heart so i wanted to to come on and share that with you what god gave me and it was philippians 2 and 5 um i want to go up a little bit um to get a little context of what what uh paul is talking about um and it says um philippians 2 if there is any encouragement in christ if any comfort of love if any fellowship of the spirit if any compassion and mercy then fulfill my joy and be like-minded having the same love being in unity with one mind let nothing be done out of strife or consent but be but in humility let each esteem the other other better than himself so what paul is telling the people in uh philippians um is listen let's let's be on one accord um because if we want to see the power of god moving in our lives we need to make sure that there is no strife, there is no envy i'm not trying to outdo you or i'm not trying to be conceited and you know trying to belittle you but I'm 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 loving you as I love myself. I'm I'm you know showing what what the greatest commandment what Jesus said when Jesus spoke to uh the 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 uh, the Pharisees and they asked him what is the greatest commandment? He said, you know, love the Lord your God. But even greater uh equal to that is to love your neighbor as yourself. So if we're not loving each other, if we're doing things out of maliciousness, out of a you know, evil heart, and it's hard for God to move. So God, uh, Paul is saying here, listen, we need to be on one accord. We need to not do things in strife. We need to love and esteem each other and encourage each other in the Lord. Um, and then three, it says, let nothing be done, not of uh, strife or conceit, but in humility, let each esteem the other better than himself let each of you look not only to your own interest so don't worry about all the things you want be able to love on people oh man that's a good word be able to love on people and be concerned about the things that they are interested in and encourage them in it um sometimes it ain't all about you man that, okay that's speaking to me right here and, and and uh let each of you not look to your own interests but also to the interests of others. And this is a scripture that, that I came over here for, starting with Philippians 2 and 5. It says, Let this mind be in you all, which was also in Christ Jesus. So he's saying, let the mind of Christ be in you also. The mind that was in Christ, let it be in you. What was that mind? That mind was who Christ, who being in the form of God. So Jesus being in the form of God, he was God in the flesh, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped. And the King James Version says, um, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ, who thought it not robbery to be equal minded with God. It was not robbery. It was not contrary because he was God in the flesh. But going down over to Philippians 7 but he emptied himself taking upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in the form of a man he humbled himself and became obedient to death even death of the cross so this morning, what the Lord put on my heart was being obedient to me and serving my people. I, so so I do a, a weekly blog that you guys can check out on suchaladyonline.com. Um, um, it's every Wednesday I do it. And initially when when I was asked to do it by my friend, man, she she man, she is a great woman of God, a beautiful person. And when she asked me, she, we were uh, emailing and she said, you know, I think you will be great to help me out and write for my blog, um, you know, and assist me. And me, man, you know, I thought, you know, I had overcome so many things in my, you know, from my past and in my life that I thought, you know, I'm, man, I'm so humble. But when she asked me to be an assistant, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was like, assistant girl i got degrees 
I, I know the word of God. I, I can teach it. I can do all these things, assistant. And I looked down on that position because I felt like I was here. And what she was asking me to do was here. But in, in Philippians, it talks about how Jesus was God in the flesh. And he humbled himself, becoming a man, becoming acquainted with our griefs. He didn't worry about what people would think about him, what they would say about him, how they would spit on them, how they would turn his back on him, how they would look down on him because he was God. But he humbled himself and came. Imagine you being the owner of everything that's in the earth, everything you own. And you having to humble yourself and come down and serve the things that you created. Jesus humbled himself and was willing to become a servant to us in which he created. All things, John 1, 1 says, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was God. Uh, and we beheld his glory as the only begotten of the father. Um, and he was in the world and the world knew him not. And all things were made by him and through him. So everything was made by Jesus and through Jesus. But he, not thinking it robbery, to be equal minded with God, but humbled himself. And when I think of when my friend asked me to do the blog, man, what God was trying to get me to see was if I am to use you in the capacity I want to use you, you have to be willing to submit your will and all the things that you've accomplished and all the things that you've done, those are great and beautiful things. And congratulations on your degrees. Those are something to be celebrated, but it cannot overshadow or overrule what I'm calling you to do. And God is in the business of people to be compassionate and kind and to love people. And in the people business, you cannot think that you're greater than other people. You must be willing to be equal minded to love them where they are and to serve them. And in that moment, what God was showing me was, it's not about you, it's about your heart. And are you willing to be a servant? Are you willing to allow me to do something great in you? And I promise you guys, because I, I and I wrestled with it. I was like, man, I don't, I don't know. Let me, let me pray about that and, and you know, and, and see and really what I was saying was no nah, I'm, I'm not gonna do that because I feel like I'm 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 better than that and really man you are not better than anything when it comes to being a servant God is calling us to be a servant to what he want us to do to his people Jesus if we are to have the mind of Christ we must be able to be humble and to serve people to love them where they are to be compassionate to be kind to not regard our own interests to not be so arrogant and just thinking of ourselves and thinking of all the things we accomplished but being willing to serve God's people Jesus did it so we must do it and I promise you guys because and I I, I, I sought counsel because it was really bothering me that I was thinking this way and I remember I told my uncle you know I'm gonna pray about it and he said what are you praying for what why are you do you either you're gonna do it or you, you you're not gonna do it and I could not move forward without doing it and it has been the greatest thing that I've ever done this far because man I've, I've learned so much about myself and I really had to ask God to check my heart, God, help me get this pride out of me where I think that I'm all puffed up to be something that I'm not. To think that I'm better than. To think that I'm not supposed to serve and do what God has called me to do. So do not think that your, your accolades, your accomplishment can over rule what God has called you to do. God has called us to have the mind of Christ. And if we are to be transformed in our thinking and in our mind, we must be humble and come to him as a servant. Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. This is God in the flesh washing disciples' feet. Really like, think about that. God humbled himself to serve us and he's still serving us. And because he has served us so well, I don't want to, you know, do all the things God called me to because it seems like a cool thing to do. I want to do it because I'm, I'm a satisfied customer 
of what Jesus has done. I'm satisfied with all the things he's done and is still doing for me. How he's serving me. How he, man, how he gave his life for me. So because he gave it all for me, I'm willing to give myself. He emptied himself. And we must be willing to empty ourselves and serve the people as God served us. So I love you, people of God. Um, and I just wanted to come on and just say, you know, don't be afraid to be humble and to serve people, um, to love people, to, you know, really press in deep and, you know, ask God to search your heart and remove things that are unlike him. Um, we must be humble enough to be a servant if we are to be transformed in our thinking and in our walk. And then God can use use us. You know, God is, man, out of this, you know, I knew I was called to do these videos, but out of being obedient to uh, and surrendering and being willing to go, you know what? It's not my will, but it's God's will be done. I'll, I'll, sis, I'll do this. I'll, I, it is my honor. And, and literally, I have a passion for it. I really enjoy writing it. It has helped me, you know, in my ability to write. And because I was willing to surrender and serve, out of it came these videos. Out of it come, is going to come so much more. Um, and in everything, you have to be able to surrender it to God and say, you know what? I don't want to do this, but your will be done. There's a reason why this has come up. This is the reason why this person is in my life. There's a reason why I'm called to do this. So you know what? God help me along the way. And along the way, he softened my heart to see that it ain't about you. It's about what I've called you to do. It's about what I've ordained you to do. It's about you glorifying me. So to God be the glory. Um, I just pray strength over you and peace. I pray, um, you know, that God removes any pride and humbles you to be able to be a servant. God is still working through me and humbling me each and every day. Um, so be blessed, people of God. And just go out and be a servant to somebody. I love you. God bless you. Talk to you soon. Bye.